Hello and welcome to my 3 card poker maths and strategy video. For this video I'll be showing the optimal strategy and the house edge and something else called the element of risk with 3 card poker. For 3 card poker, the optimal strategy is to play on any hand which is queen 6 4 or better. This means that the highest card is a queen and then the second highest is a 6 and the third highest is for a 4 or anything better than that. This is because the estimated value for a queen 6 4 is 0.993 and the estimated value for queen 6 3 which is the one hand lower is 1.003. This means that the queen 6 4 hand is the lowest hand which gives a positive payout for a bet. Now the most common table for three card poker, the most common payout table is for a straight flush the dealer pays to the better an additional five units and for a three of a kind four units and for a straight one. Now there are 12 possible straight combinations which range from eight to three to queen king ace and there are four possible suits hence there are 48 possible straight flushes which a person can get. Now over here below I have a table for which will which I will use to calculate the house edge in the game of three card poker. Now over here in the top column is how much a player expects to win. Over here is the total number of combinations that there are for a particular win amount. And next to here is the probability of that combination. And then and the last column is the return, which is the amount a player expects to have returned for this particular win. Now, if a player is to win seven, then the player must have achieved a straight flush and the dealer must have qualified. Now, there are 617,044 combinations. I've done a working out over here so that you can see how I've done this. Once the dealer's three cards have been taken away, there are 49 choose three ways for the player's hand to be dealt and there are 48 possible straight flushes therefore there are 884,352 hands where a player can get a straight flush. Now the probability that the dealer qualifies meaning the probability that the dealer gets above a queen is 0 0.69899. If we multiply the number of possible hands times by the amount of times the dealer qualifies, then we get 618,156 hands where a player gets a straight flush and the dealer qualifies. However, in that, there are 968 possible combinations where the dealer wins and 144 possible combinations where the dealer draws. So we minus these two values to gain 617,044, which is the amount of combinations for the win of seven units. Now over here we have the rest of the combinations which can be worked out in a similar manner and we can see that the total number of combinations of any hand is 407,170,400. To work out the probability of each win occurring we simply look over here and we divide the amount of combinations by the total number of combinations which in the case of the first one is 0 0.001515. And we do this for all of these just like this and we gain a probability of one. Now the return can also be worked out quite simply. We just multiply the probability of, this, of uh, the 